Hi, Mike Maycomber here. Thanks for tuning in to our vlog today. We're going to talk a little bit about discipline in the workplace this afternoon. Discipline in the workplace is a very tough subject because anytime you're faced with discipline in the workplace, usually it's a lot of stress and a lot of concern as to, am I going to keep my job? It's important to know what kind of employee you are before we start talking about what kind of discipline you may or may not be facing. There's a number of employees in New York State that range from at-will employees, contract employees, union employees, state employees, and federal employees. At-will employees generally have the least amount of protection when it comes to discipline in the workplace. Some employers have an informal policy or maybe even a formal written policy in place where they engage in some sort of progressive discipline. What I mean by progressive discipline is it's some sort of policy where you get a first warning, a second warning, a final warning, and then maybe finally some sort of suspension and termination. If you look at your employee handbook, I can almost guarantee you you'll find some words in there that your employer is not bound by the concept of progressive discipline, and if the conduct is bad enough, they can go ahead and jump all the way to termination. It's essentially what it means to be an at-will employee. There are federal and state laws in place that provide for due process and a hearing to address any kind of discipline that might come up. Not every situation entitles you to a hearing and it does depend on the conduct there. Minor violations can typically be handled by your supervisor or internally within the department, whereas more egregious conduct can entitle you to a hearing uh, or some sort of investigation. It's important to know what your rights and options are with regards to that and whether or not you need to participate in the investigation. You may have the, the right to bring an attorney to the investigation, which is a good idea to make sure that you don't say anything that could hurt you. Regardless of whether you're an at-will employee, state, federal, or contract employee, it's important that you don't make matters worse during a disciplinary investigation. More often than not, we're contacted by clients that have gone in for some minor infraction and then during the course of an investigation have compounded the discipline and are now facing suspension or termination. It may be important to talk to an attorney before you participate in any kind of investigation to see what your rights and options are going forward. If you have questions regarding any stage of the disciplinary process, either before or after discipline has actually been put into effect, the attorneys at Tully Rinky are here to help you and answer any questions.